Falcons film breakdown sack video from 2017. We're going to be looking at Brooks Reed's sack versus Tyrod Taylor. Uh, and we're going to be looking at the coverage as well in, in this play and kind of determine what the Falcons were able to do to open up for the defensive line to give them time to get the sack. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and take a look at how Brooks Reed was able to get this sack, but first the coverage. When we come out in this, I wouldn't say it's the true like look or version of the uh, 43 under, but you can definitely tell we put our linebacker out on the left-hand side on the outside of Brooks Reed and then motioned our linebackers over just slightly. So it kind of is that 43 under if you want to kind of say with the single high safety um, and man-to-man -man coverage from what it looks like in the beginning. Both of our top corners go out to the right-hand side, and we're going to have them kind of taking on two wide receivers. So the Bills, what they're wanting to do is split the field and send a tight end down the field and get this kind of pass down there or open something up on the left-hand side of the defensive formation and throw it to the running back or, or something of that nature. So when this play starts off, you can see that the coverage is pretty stout the play has already like kind of just started so we're not going to see anything till it starts getting down there but the play kind of breaks down once brooks reed begins to get pressure on your right hand side you can see him at the top of the screen and the only route and you're going to say that underneath route near the 30 is open it's not because that route actually develops as a down the field route and the running back is actually the most open wide receiver if you want to say or receiver out in the flat over here near the 20 yard line near the play 60 and by that point tyrod taylor is actually down on the ground uh and debo was the closest one to be uh, kind of being able to to stop that running back from getting the ball so that would have had to have been an open field tackle but for the for the most part this defense was very man-to-man -man, great coverage a couple guys kind of just dropping back and watching everybody and this is the kind of falcons defense that i like I really do. I think this is the most productive Falcons defense that you can put on the field. But let's take a look at the sack and how it happened now that we know that the down the field coverage gave Brooks Reed some time to develop this sack. And two things came to mind when I watched this over and over and I said, you know, oh, it was because number 79 was off balance and Brooks Reed was able to do kind of a finesse dip inside not dip outside to beat 79 to tyrod taylor and then i analyzed it a little bit slower and i said i something's off because 79 kind of like you'll see him dip off to the right hand side in fact actually i'm just gonna play the play look at him just kind of dip off to the right hand side not even that he got swiped in the face but something happened during that little like frame of maybe two seconds or less and i was i was enamored by it i said what is going on what's happening why did that why did that occur well i can i can tell you one thing the thing that i'm i noticed the most was the moment that they snapped the ball Watch that. You see that right there? Number 76 steps on number 79. So this is going to cause number 79 to be off balance, off kilter. And he's not going to be able to square up against Brooks Reed and put all of his uh, frontal body weight into Brooks Reed. Nor is he going to be able to play finesse game either and be able to hand battle because now he has to put balance back onto his left foot or his left ankle. And because of that, he has to put more pressure, more weight on his right foot to be able to stay up when Brooks Reed pushes off to the side and, and goes back inside. 79 is completely off balance at this point. So, okay, Brooks Reed didn't get this sack legitimately, but the sack is a sack is a sack. And what did Brooks Reed do well in this play? Well, first he fainted to the outside that he was going to do a power rush move. Then came back inside with a speed rush move and swiped the hands across the face of the offensive tackle. Once that gap opened, it allowed Brooks Reed to be able to jump inside and get this sack on Tyrod. It only helped that there was a little extra variable 
that this tackle got stepped on and see now that he's overextended he had to put all that weight on that right leg the left leg is finally getting some balance back into it after getting stepped on any of you can go to your 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 co-workers or your family members and you try to do the same move and let them step on your ankle you are going to be that's going to hurt <laughs> and you're going to have to put a lot of balance and 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 pressure on that right leg to stay upright or else you're going to be falling backwards you know if brooks reed had hit him with a power move i think he would have been on on his butt but he hit him with a finesse move with a quick swipe to the inside and now look at all this open space for him to be able to hit tyrod and he does let's watch this one more time in silence i just want you to watch the events that happen and occur watch 76 step on 79 watch brooks reed swipe across the face he was fainting to the outside then faints back into the inside with a swipe and gets the sack on tyrod taylor it's just it's a very interesting chain of events boom what i like about brooks reed is that he takes advantage of the variables given to him and the extra things that go on if there is any hole any way to expose an offensive lineman any way to take advantage of them any slit in the armor any cracks in the system he will find it and he will make a play that's what's so sneaky athletic about Brooks Reed is that he uses that to his advantage whereas some guys don't take that advantage um and and hold the reins you know what i'm saying they don't go out there and and take advantage of what's given to them brooks reed always seems to take advantage of what's given to him in interesting situations like this and that's what i like about brooks reed and that's why i think that with or without brooks reed going forward into the future i think if we get another player like him or an upgrade at his position we will continue to have immense success my name is lieutenant dan check us out at ungr underscore show on twitter and instagram please do hit the like button on this video if you like this content if you dislike this content hit the down button the dislike button um, go into the comment section tell me what you think of brooks reed and what you thought of this play it was very interesting i thought that both sides not only gave time for brooks reed to be able to get this sack but also the little variables that went on in the line it was it was very interesting also if uh if you don't mind if, if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel uh hit the notification bell on the front page to uh be able to get updates on when new content comes out and if you are so generous you can head over to the patreon at unintentional grounding and hit us up with a little bit of money um maybe a dollar a dollar a month is twelve dollars in a whole year and you know that's less than some uh some lunch meals if you go out there unless you're going to make mickey d's or you know burger king or whatever <laughs> but my name is lieutenant dan Man, this was Unintentional Grounding's Falcons breakdown of the 2017 NFL sacks. Peace, hair grease, rise up.